My name is Sonia. I host the morning show on 98.7 FM from 6 to 10 a.m. It's called The Bright Side. But I absolutely love my job and I've been doing it for about um, almost three years now. I initially did not want to do radio. I wanted to go into journalism instead. But when the opportunity arose, I decided like, hey, maybe I could do with a part-time job thing on the weekend, you know, something fun like being a radio DJ. So that was when I was like, okay, I'm going to join it. So far, um, it's been a lot of fun, but also um, a lot on of hours and lack of sleep at the same time. I don't sleep a lot, honestly, like four to five hours a night. Usually my days are super packed. And uh, one of the reasons is because I am a workaholic, I think. I find it hard to say no. And usually it ends up with, you know, in the beginning of the, the week, you're like, oh, I've got an okay week. Like, it seems pretty clear. And then slowly it starts to pile on and you realize like, it's so hard to say no and you just keep saying yes. And I'm at a point in time of my life where I can't afford to give up on any big jobs or any big opportunities as well. So bring it, I'm going to take it all. <laughs> there are many reasons to why I love being a radio DJ. But one of them is obviously because you are entertaining your listener and you are a friend to your listener. And you suddenly feel this connection with people that you don't even know. But it's really something very valuable in life and um, you just feel like your social skills improve quite a bit as well. Overall, I feel like it's a huge sense of satisfaction when you see these people actually come up to you and say thank you so much for being my friend and also when you see the joy that you can bring to them. Okay, travel SSBD, I mean, it means same, same but different. Um, it's a common phrase, I think, that quite a lot of people are familiar with. Um, what it does is that it brings me to different destinations. I know where I'm going, so I know the country that I'm going, but I don't know what activities I'm going to be doing there. So everything is a mystery. And the only question they asked me um, before we started filming was, what are you not okay with doing? And that's so difficult to answer, but for me, the only thing that I can think of that I'm not okay with doing is like eating insects. Please God, don't put me near insects at all. I'm terrified. I, I like this program a lot because it gives traveling a whole new angle and a whole new life. And I think it's been received pretty well so far. So fingers crossed for a second season. My weirdest talents, oh my god, I have a few. I'm excited to share. Um, actually, I can um, lift my eyebrows up separately really fast, like, like, like this. That's a talent, right? The second talent is I can join my index finger and my last finger together. Ha! Can you do it? <laughs> I have one more talent that, um, definitely a talent, that my colleagues find hilarious, okay? So I can laugh without making my mouth move according to my laugh. So it's like an off-sync laugh. <laughs> Have you ever heard of that before? No, right? It's very unique, right? So it, it goes something like... <laughs> Am I doing it right? <laughs> I don't know. I might have done it wrong. It was very bad. I, I apologize. That should not be one of my talents. <laughs> um, I, I, I really can't deal with people wearing Crocs. Um, are you all wearing Crocs? Okay, thank God. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just didn't want to insult anyone, but I can smell it from a mile away basically, especially when the store is around. Um, big love to you Crocs, but I just don't like some of the shoes lah. Yeah, so if you wear like a nice outfit and like Crocs, then we may not be friends. Yeah. Why do you give me such terrible choices? Um, obviously tarantulas, although they sound like hella terrifying. Tarantulas. <laughs> I still can't deal with roaches. I can't even say it. Yeah. <laughs> I would. I would choose unable to shave. I know I'm nasty. Okay, nasty. I would actually say manage your expectations because I, I see a lot of like young people who come in and even interns who come and join like 987 or whatever who who really strive to be a certain way or maybe they want to be a radio DJ and they feel like that is certainly the way to go. Well, yes, that could be one way to go, you know, by joining us um, from the bottom and working your way up and all that. But on the other hand, um, know your strengths as well. If you're good in production, go for production. You know what I mean? So just pursue what you are definitely strong at and you will definitely excel in that area as well. You have to set goals in your life, be it monetary goals or um, goals about 
what kind of shows you want to act in or what kind of shows you want to host in. It's always good to have a benchmark and also very good to have someone that you look up to. Hey, what's up? I'm Sonia Chu and you are watching NYP TV.